Welcome back! Today on Dialed In DIY, we're going to open up Shrek's donkey to find out why he doesn't have anything funny to say anymore. Yes, unfortunately this cute little talking donkey plush toy won't talk anymore. We've had him for quite a while, but he's just not cutting the mustard anymore. Usually if you squeeze on the side or tap him on a table, he'll start to talk and say his funny sayings, but it's just not working anymore, so we're going to open him up and see how to fix them. You can follow this same kind of an approach for similar toys because most of them work in a very similar way. This little donkey's actually weighted with the beanbag on the bottom to help him sit upright appropriately and I don't want to cut through that because I want the beanbag to stay intact. So I'm going to find a seam along the side, grab a sharp knife and slowly carefully start to pull the stitches apart. This way you can just separate them at the seam and easily put them back together later. Once I have just enough area open on the seam, I will start to reach inside and pull the stuffing out. This way we can get to the working parts, or the mechanical parts, of the toy itself. This time it's another one of these little fabric bags that is housing the entire mechanism and we're going to have to take the stitching apart on this as well so that we can actually get to the mechanical portion. As you can see, I've got Shrek peeking in from above, keeping a good eye on things to make sure I don't mess up. In fact. This is a drawing that I did recently that I'm going to show in an upcoming speed dial drawing. In the meantime, hey, if you have a favorite quote from the donkey, feel free to put them in the comments below and share them with everybody else. I'd love to hear what you have to say about the movies. Once inside, we see this really cool little shell of a device that once you push the sides together, is supposed to activate the switch and it makes him talk. There's some little tabs inside the shell on these sides that I tried to push in to see if I could pry it open, but that didn't quite work, so I realized I was going to have to come in from a different angle and slowly start trying to pry this thing apart. I took a thin screwdriver, set it in between the two sections of the shell, and just slowly started prying it up until I got the top off, and now you can see the entire mechanism easily comes out. There's a speaker and this little PCB which has three batteries attached to it. I know from experience with toys like this that the problem is often involving the batteries. So the first thing I wanted to do was get these batteries out of here and check them with a battery tester. And in fact, they weren't working anymore so I needed to change them up. I slid them out of the sides and all I had to replace them with was some thinner batteries. So there were these neat little tabs sticking in the middle which make the contact point with the one side of the battery. I pushed those down a little bit further so that my thin batteries would make contact and stay in place. Once I've changed up one thing in a repair, I like to test it before I do anything else. It does seem to work. But I think it could sound better, so it's time to dial it in and have some fun playing around a little bit. I'm taking some alligator clips, connecting them to the part of the PCB where the speaker connectors are, and getting myself a much better speaker. Let's have some fun. Be prepared, this next part comes through a little bit louder. Are we there yet? Hey, hey, hey. look at all my little mutant babies. Now let's give you that comparison back to the original speaker again. And because I just couldn't resist, I hooked up a microphone jack and plugged it into my computer. But with playtime over, I put everything back together again, stitched them all back up, put the stuffing inside, closed everything down the way it originally was, and tested them back out again. Thank you for watching. Please press like and then subscribe. There will be more dialed in DIY to come.